Fundamentally, geothermal systems work differently than ordinary heating and cooling systems. Conventional systems have to produce heat by burning some type of fuel, typically propane, natural gas, or fuel oil. Geothermal systems don't create heat. Instead, they collect and redistribute it. First, you should realize that the Earth absorbs and stores nearly half of the sun's solar energy. As a result, at a depth of six feet, it maintains a fairly constant temperature of 45 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The geothermal system taps into that free, renewable energy through a series of buried, high-density polyethylene pipes called the Earth Loop System. All joints and connections are heat-fused to create one continuous length of pipe. This heat fusing does not require any glue and adds to the strength and durability of the loop system. All earth loop piping is backed by a 50-year manufacturer's warranty as well. The earth loop can be installed in a number of different configurations depending on the area available. Vertical loops, horizontal loops, pond loops, and open loops. For homes with limited space, the loop can be installed in vertical boreholes that are drilled between 150 and 300 feet in depth. The loop pipe is inserted into the borehole and then sealed with a grouting solution. Systems will generally require one borehole per ton of equipment capacity. For homeowners with more space, a horizontal system can be installed in trenches between 150 and 300 feet in length at a depth of 6 to 8 feet. Horizontal loops can come in a number of different sizes and configurations depending on the space available and system requirements. A rule of thumb is generally one trench per ton of equipment capacity. Should you have access to a body of water such as a pond or lake, you can use that as your heat source heat sink as well. Geothermal loop pipe is arranged in mats or coils and then arranged on the bottom of the body of water using concrete blocks. A rule of thumb is that the body of water must be at least one acre in size with a depth of 10 to 12 feet. The final type of earth loop is called an open loop. Open loop installations pump water from an underground aquifer through a geothermal unit and then discharge that water into a drainage ditch or pond. The geothermal unit processes the heat energy from the water just like a closed loop installation. Where allowed, discharging water to a return well is sometimes effective, but sending water to a pond, river, creek, or lake is considered more reliable. Your local GeoComfort specialist will examine your home and help you determine what type of earth loop is right for you. With our advanced GeoAnalyst software, they can show you how much area is needed for any type of loop configuration to get the maximum benefit from your new GeoComfort system. Geothermal systems consist of four basic components. First, the earth loop, which we discussed earlier carries the fluid between the earth and the home. The next component is the unit itself, which includes an air coil, compressor, blower motor, and various refrigerant components. A distribution system is needed within the building to distribute the conditioned air through traditional ductwork, or hot water heat through radiant floor tubing. The final component is a domestic water heating loop, which captures additional heat from the operation of the unit and deposits it 
into your home's hot water tank. Geothermal systems use the same principles that operate a refrigerator or freezer, and the system is just as quiet. Just as a refrigerator removes heat from a food item, a geothermal system removes heat from the earth or home, depending on whether it's heating or cooling. During the winter months, when a home calls for heat, a geothermal system captures heat energy stored in the earth and transfers it into the building. Conversely, during the summer months, a geothermal system removes heat from the home and transfers it into the earth, replacing it with cool, dry air. The end result is a system that utilizes the free energy stored in our own backyards to heat and cool our homes at a substantially lower cost than compared to conventional systems. The decision to choose a GeoComfort geothermal system is an important one, and you have taken the critical first step in researching your options. Here are some facts to help you make your decision. Geothermal installations are increasing rapidly as homeowners discover the unparalleled comfort and significantly reduced energy costs versus conventional heating and cooling systems. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has declared that geothermal systems are the most energy efficient, environmentally clean, and cost-effective space conditioning systems available today. Geothermal is gaining recognition globally. Many governments now offer special incentives for homeowners and businesses installing geothermal equipment. Canada has provincial and national tax incentives, and the United States instituted a federal tax credit of 30% of the installation costs for homeowners who install a new geothermal system or replace an existing system with geothermal. Check with your local dealer for more information on programs in your area. Geocomfort systems are 3 to 400 percent efficient versus the most efficient gas furnaces with efficiencies in the high 90s. In essence, 3 to 4 times more usable heat is produced with the same amount of energy. Geocomfort geothermal systems do not rely on fossil fuels, which can harm the environment, and they offer unsurpassed comfort through better air purification, dehumidification, and more consistent air temperatures. We hope this presentation has been informative and helped to answer some of your questions. Contact your neighborhood GeoComfort dealer by visiting our website at www.geocomfort.com and clicking on the Dealer Locator button. They stand ready to assist and show you how GeoComfort is the best choice for your home, your family, and the environment. GeoComfort. Live comfortably.